Hi, I have 37 subscribers right now. 27 out of them are my friends and family. I love the support. And the 10 random people who have hit that subscribe button, I really don't know why you did that, but I appreciate it. And I thought you should know that. Today I'm going to react on Raj Shamani's video about how India is going to beat China and becoming the new superpower. And we keep on hearing this every other day. India is going to beat China. India is the new superpower. But I really have questions about it. So let's get to the video. India now is going to beat China. China is the biggest world's biggest manufacturing hub, but not anymore. Who is the biggest competition to beat China? Who is the biggest competition? Our country. But India is doing how to do it. Three things you know about. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to disagree to all three points, but let's hear it out. After the pandemic, all companies are looking for another alternative to China. That's why the Indian government has planned to spend on infrastructure. It's more than $1.2 trillion. That is 34% of Indian GDP under the program Gati Shakti Plan. The Indian government's plan is airports, rail lines, seaports, roads. Okay, here's the thing about all the government plans. This is not the first time that Indian government is going to spend 1.2 trillion dollars on anything, right? हम हमेशा प्लान बनाते हैं and then the government actually puts money from the top. But the problem is in the execution phase. From the top, that 1.2 trillions, how much of that actually translate into real value making money on the road when it you have to make the airport or the railway line? Planning is great and I believe we have really bright minds who are actually working on. You know, developing this plan, but the execution matters more, and I think India is way, way behind on the execution front. Second point is yes, that companies want to leave China and they are looking for other countries to set their manufacturing plant in. But India is not the only one in competition. Countries like Vietnam, Bangladesh, Taiwan, and some developing and smaller European countries like Slovakia are in the race. But Vietnam witnessed a foreign investment rise of 56% last year. Those are the countries where most of the manufacturing plants are going to instead of coming to India. So you should really ask the question that if India is so good and great, why India is like the second option or third option in most of the cases? Let's come. Now modernize kar do. In fact, a tech platform bana rahe hain jispe 16 plus ministries aur 100 plus agents connected honge, jisse har project ki ek ek minor detail bhi track hogi. RBI ka manna hai ki Indian infrastructure pe har rupee invest karne pe India ki GDP 2.5 ya 3.5 rupees se zada badhe. Aur ye Okay, it is again true that if you're going to spend one rupee on infrastructure in India, it is going to give you two times or three times returns. Again, this is all just theories and planning and speculations. I want them to actually spend one rupee on infrastructure and then see the result. Paper pe plan karne mein and actually execute karne mein, there's a huge difference. And I believe that every one of you will agree that India is not the best at execution. And here's the other thing which people tend to ignore, right? India right now is mostly a quantity game. We are the fastest growing GDP, we are the fastest growing economy, we are the fastest growing stock market. But what you don't realize is that we are the second biggest population in the world. We have so many consumers that even if they spend 10 rupees each on candies, it is going to give a big jump to our GDP. It's the quantity game that we are playing right now. And fair enough, we, we have the quantity, so we should take advantage of that. But that doesn't mean that we leave quality behind. That is equally important. Okay. China already start हो चुका है with companies like Apple और Samsung. Apple अपना iPhone 14 India में manufacture करना start कर चुका है and Samsung ने world की सबसे बड़ी phone manufacturing facility India में बना दी. Okay. Apple India में manufacture कर रहा है since 2018 I guess and same with Samsung. The biggest manufacturing plant of Samsung was inaugurated in Noida, Delhi in 2018. Uh, and Apple has been making iPhone SE, iPhone 12, iPhone 13 and now iPhone 14. By the way, only the base model of iPhones are made in India and the Pro's models are still being imported. But the point is, these are the companies who chose India way before the pandemic and this whole shift in companies trying to leave China. Where are the new companies who came to India after 2020? Tell me about those. That will actually show us that if India made a significant jump into attractiveness to pull those companies to our country and I think more people should talk about it. Now it's clear that we are going to beat China. But what do you think? India superpower will become so many years? Let me know in the comments. Again, exactly my problem. 
we will become a superpower. We have the quantity, we have the pace, we have the momentum. But kitne saalo mein ban payega? With the way things are going right now, it'll take us more 15 to 20 years to actually even beat China, let alone become the world's biggest superpower. When we have everything in our favor, where all the other countries are supporting us, we have the resources, the population of India is becoming smarter and they are working into making India great again. And we also have the quantity to make a huge difference in the world. But with all those things playing into our favor, if it's still taking us 15 years to become a superpower, then I think the natural question should come to your mind that there is a leak in the system where our resources are going to waste. And I think the more we'll talk about it, the more you'll realize this. And that was the whole point of making this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section below. I think it'll be an interesting conversation and I'll see you next time.